Welcome back, folks, to uh, Let's Play of Solaris. This is a new campaign with me, Perry. And Cap. As we start uh, afresh using Stellaris' 1.2 Asimov patch. Okay. Uh, here to introduce our races, so Keb will introduce first. Okay then, let's see if I can bring this up. I'll be playing the European Broadcasting Union. Uh, and this species has basically been designed after um, the, a theme on the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, if you're European, you probably know what that is. If, you, if you're not, well, you, 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 lose, you lose out. At any rate, the the whole thing is revolving around a name list, which is based on the Eurovision Song Contest, with contestants and host cities and participating countries, and songs, mostly the, from first to fifth place. And the contest is <laughs> started in the 1950s, so there are a lot of songs. If I rem if if I plant a planet and I actually remember the song, maybe I'll sing out. You never know. Just to torment Ter Perry. Um, other than that, the traits. The species is talented and charismatic. These are artists, after all. And they're also deviants. I, I just found that suitable enough. There are going to be all kinds of ethics in this mess. The, the starting ruler will be Terry Wogan. He was a commentator for BBC on, on this particular show. Usually with... Uh, Sharp wit and sarcasm on every song, and probably often deserved. Uh, the homeworld is the center stage, and the star is the name. Star name is Spotlight, and the homeworld type is Continental, because it has to be. Uh, as for ethos ethics, we're individualists, xenophiles, and pacifists under a moral democracy. And the Empire flag... Well, I wanted to do the European Union flag, basically, but there's only one star symbol available. So it'll just be very reduced, single star. Other than that, it's pretty basic: energy weapons, hyperspace, and the boxy mamma mammalian ships. And that's about it. Not All right, yours. my uh, yeah, my race has no no such fancy uh, background or or high concept. The Tendrakian free worlds uh, flags there, two little runes. Using the reptile, the uh, turtle model, because unlike Michael Bay, I can actually make turtles look like turtles. Ooh. In ocean worlds, an indirect democracy, featuring materialism, mili militarism, and individualism. The uh, I think the short version of this is America, but that's what it is. <laughs> um, that's the name of our race. It's actually Gal uh, Galopagan uh, after the Galapagos. Cool. And the, well, I figured if you're going to go turtles, you might as well go for the place most famous for them. We are quick learners, which honestly, turtles aren't associated with, and we're conformists because turtles are associated with that. And um, yeah, really, not much else to it. Easy mass drivers, wormhole, and arthropod ships. Mm -hmm. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. We'll go for a big galaxy. We'll go with arms. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we have. You have. We should probably say this. We have had a few false starts, uh, where the advanced AI sort of killed us. Uh oh. Uh, and we also had bad experiences with what he's doing right now, which is, which is roll a die. Oh, it went that low this time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, there will be plenty of open space, I suppose. This could be interesting. Hopefully. Uh it could be like the previous our previous attempt where everything was still glued to us like it was <laughs> it was just stupid all right so that's good yeah well i guess i'll be ready and we'll see what we end up with with i'm kind Keep of in mind folks we, we really like the exploration side of the game that's probably yeah. one part part that's nearly f the best fleshed out so that's kind of why we go for the big big stars small Small uh, sieve combination. Yeah. Of course, the world will still fit up. Uh, the galaxy will still fill up pretty quickly by species that uh, evolve and stuff. Oh, very nice! Well, you started that with both Corvette focus and architectural sense. Cheap Corvettes, cheap buildings. Yay! Uh, but of course, uh, <laughs> the governor started out with the Iron Fist. On a species that forbids slavery. 
I have a prim primitive civilization, early space age, adjacent to my homeworld. Ah, okay. Free world? I'm going to have to, because uh, otherwise I'm going to lose a good portion of my starting territory. Yeah. It's planet's curious, oddly enough, named my star. <laughs> So that's going to change my initial build quite a bit. Yeah, I suppose so. That's quite a curveball. Yeah, I, well, my normal build is I build a second. Um, my first thing is usually a second wormhole station, and then I wait for things to be unraveled to start building a uh, with a construction ship. But that's not the route I'm going this time. Uh, see these systems of high intel. I'll need to visit them. All right, where in the galaxy am I? Okay, I'm. Oh. Okay. Where Where are you located relative to the core? Uh, northwest, in the huh? second arm there, middle arm there. Okay, and northeast. Okay, then I don't know which direction I should spread. Yeah, we should. Yeah. <laughs> come, come towards me. You'll have have fun. Uh, no, I was kind of thinking about going going the other way. Oddly enough. That's that's so odd. It's so crazy. It just might work. <laughs> well, I'll have to explore it. For all I know, there's a ton of empires between us. And I'm going to do what I learned l last time. No longer explore with uh, single ships. I'm going to try to bunch up my, cor my corvettes. Yeah, with the Asimov patch, the exploration is far more dangerous, folks. Oh, yes. At least it feels that way. It could be that, that those games of ours were anomalies, but... I don't know. The release in 1.1, you could go ahead and go a good distance into the game with a single with your first three Corvettes. Now, not so much. Oh, a tile with three minerals. I'm pretty sure that was, no, what I'm going to build there. Uh, I need more food. Energy. Yes, there's a good energy tile. Just have to clear out the debris. And of course, we get a... Oh, I'd like this leader to start. Cheap buildings cost and cheaper corvettes. Not bad. I'm gonna be saving with lots of minerals. Okay, ready whenever, by the way. I forgot to check. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. Adaptable isn't the worst. We're straight for a sign ship leader. And the others were expert industry, statecraft. Ooh, well, I've got an archaeology master. Yeah, that's not too bad. It only applies to one specific type of wonders. Or anomalies. Ah, uh, Watch me say wonder all the time because I just reviewed... <laughs> some some of the ads for Civ 6. I'm in wonder mode. I wonder. I wonder. And I thought I was the one who was going to sing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we're sharing the burden. There's a difference. I can sing well. <laughs> Not that that was an example of it, but... Oh, let's see, size 17 continental planet there, that's okay. Need minerals. You must construct Pyl additional minerals. Pylons needed. Uh, and there comes the first alien encounter. Only the space cows, but still. Thank you. You remind me to turn off the evasive on my uh, starting the starting science ship and starting construction ship. And there are some other aliens. That's found. crystals. TV. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe I should do that too. I ah. always. More space I always get annoyed when they come by and visit the home home system and. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I can understand in those cases when the space amoeba shows up at your home system, but or any kind of system. If they do not warp away, then it should trigger the evasive maneuver. Yeah. That's how it should be. But that would probably put too much complexity on the game. I assume that's why they wouldn't do it. Oh. Ocean. Bah. Good sized planets, but unfortunately, not stuff we can colonize. Ugh. Give them time. But I don't want it. No, want them now. Now. I don't want to wait. Okay, Veruca. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Oh, we'll 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 some more. Gammas. What did this time? 185, that's probably a void cloud. It's kind of sad, I can look at the combat strength. Yeah, uh, combat strength, and then you can decide what the alien type of alien they are. Why do the same thing all the time? Hmm. Oh, there's actually. Oh, I didn't see that tile. Ah. Uh. I did not see the three food tile up there without a building. Oops. I'll need to wait two more months. Oh, not the best system, home system so far. Uh, okay, in that case, you're gonna work that tile instead. One food versus four minerals. Yeah, I take the minerals right now. I have three items left to survey in my home system. I have found no anomalies and no and no items. Ouch. Yeah, that that isn't good. No, it is not. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh boy. No, 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 no. You're not gonna fight. You're not gonna fight. Get the heck out of here. Retreat if you can. Oh. Uh. So long, dear fleet. Yeah, they, they, my fleet found a system with crystals. No. Uh -oh. so, and the crystals have insane range, so of course there's no way in heck I can actually escape them. Oh, come on, let me see if I can save the leader at least. Retreat, retreat. Oh. Well, okay, I managed to save the leader, if nothing else. You go repair. Okay, I guess that's the end of our exploration. No, yeah, it basically ended up in a system with thousand, thousand combat worth of crystals, and with their new and improved range. Well, pain happened. Yes, but I miraculously managed to save one Corvette. Twenty percent health left. So at least I saved my leader, my admiral, captain, my captain. Uh, yeah, we're gonna build a farm there. That seems good. Oh well, on the bright side, I have che <laughs> can build corvettes for cheap. Well, somewhat cheaper. Well, that's good. System survey complete. Oh, survey down. Four minerals, two engineering, and one anomaly. Not the worst I've seen. Three energy. That's my entire home system. Ouch. Do you have yeah, any... Uh, what about nearby systems? Have you found any good worlds to, worlds to settle? Oh, no. There are actually two very nice... I have three colonizable worlds right next to me. And one, two of them very nice. One's a 19, one's a 13... Uh, a one's a 19, one's a 23. Uh, that's better than what I can see so far. I want 17 and another 13, I think. And that's about it. The 12, actually. But of course, my ships got kind of disrupted. There might be something mm -hmm. good nearby. I'll give it time. Oh, right, I need to build that second mineral. Mm, come on. 
Come on, little construction ship. On the bright side, it makes my uh, my construction needs in my home system a lot simpler. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I just like my home world. It has some, some pretty good bonuses. Especially like the three minerals just sitting in the sitting in the open. Yeah, it is the bad home system this one. Uh yeah. This one first. Like a gassy? Oh yeah. Get here, get here. Keep minerals, there we go. Build, build, build. But if we don't want to build? But I want them to build. And you can stop to consider their feelings? No, why should I do that? Reasons? I'm a politician, why do I care about my voters' feelings? Whoa, that's the best channeling of Brussels I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, well, I am playing the European Broadcasting Union. That's just so close to home. I think I mentioned that in one of our other, one of our other games too. What's that? There's a star system that's called that's called Tem. But when oh, you yeah. zoom out, to me that reads Terry. Oh. <laughs> Which makes me laugh every time. Terry is a friend of ours. Yeah. Does it have a home? It has a it has it has a potential habit. That's it. The twelve size world is there. Well, then it's obviously not Terry if it's got a home. <laughs> Ooh, low blow. Uh, another power plant? Yes, finally. Grow, my parties, grow! Alright, that is, isn't finished. Uh, and we got another mining yard up and running, that's good. Oh my! Yes. The system I want to settle seven minerals so far. Oh, three of them are on the world I want to settle, so I will use them. Ah. Okay, not as good as I thought then. Hmm. To delay this construction. Nah. No delays. Too brave, my one sh one remaining scout or not? I mean, I suppose I could. Uh... No, not this mystic line. Um, can I right-click to other side? Okay, there we go. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Uh, oh, I can research that. That's fine. I'm sending the scout the. Ship out without the admiral. Okay. That yeah, seems like a better choice. And that planet just joined my system. Already? Yep. Well, that was a quick conquest. Just needed four armies. It was just barely enough. Probably should have brought a fifth, but I didn't want to risk them going space map. Yeah, that is a risk when they're that far ahead. It's pretty awesome, though. Two planets. Well, that's probably hates you, but oh, the the hatred is quite deep. Yes. <laughs> what were they? Xenophobes. <laughs> they are now. <laughs> um, 
Actually, no, they are xenophilic uh, fanatic materialists. Oh, well, with xenophiles, they're not that unhappy about being brought under heel, I suppose. Stellar culture shock minus 10%. Voting. Yeah, because you have primary species only, I suspect. I should go fix that. Even then, it's at only a 10% dif distance, so it's. Yeah, until this stellar shock and the recently conquered and all of that stuff wears out. And that takes, what, 10 years, 20 years? I forget. Something, Did they something change? Like that. They changed that, didn't they? Based on how advanced the species was. Updated. I believe so. I think it takes a lot less for a pre-stellar like that to go spaceborne than it does for anyone else. Voting rights. I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't be just simpler to enslave them. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. It's prohibited. Boo. You're the one who decided to play the peaceful turtles rather than... Oh, these are still militarists. They're not peaceful. <laughs> At least we loved up to the first contact protocol of aggressive. Oh, boy. Um, did I just find... Yes. Did you just find station. What? Yeah. Uh, I think I just found myself in the same situation you just did. Science station, finish that anomaly, then we go and investigate this planet. I saw a space station there. And unfortunately, I'm not able to do what you did. Situation Oh, because you're passive. Uh, yes, I'm xenophile and I'm pacifist. Construction complete. Complicates your options quite a bit, doesn't it? And we found another one as well. And that's an actual Empire species, I believe. Hostile fleet engaged. And uh, before I can actually engage them, I wander straight into hostiles. Oh, more space crystals. Why do these stupid crystals have to be everywhere? Ah, because it's funny. Uh, not quite what. Not quite what? my interpretation of it, but okay. And I have not been able to find any good worlds to settle. Ah. Rumble. Okay, so I can't do that after all. Ugh. Yeah, there went my Corvette. A good thing I didn't send the leader then, I suppose. We have tons of food on the home homeworld. Eight food. Come on, grow, grow fast, grow faster, grow faster. What if, uh, I don't want, what if I don't want to? But I wanted to grow faster because then I could get my power up to speed again. I have to say that grabbing or having a planet available like that right at the beginning changes a lot of my initial planning quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because here it is just the second year of the game. I've now got... A reasonably functioning second planet. You're not gonna like this though. What? So my avenue uh, westward it's seems, blocked. To, seems to be one alien, em one actual empire, and another nascent civ. They had a space station with a strength of four or something like that. Yeah, that's the starting starting space station. Mm -hmm. So I have one one species that just about to emerge, and right next to it, one, one that already has. Well, you invite them into your federation. Have them over some, for some tea, some cake, and some music. Uh, come to think of it, uh, I, yeah, the maybe I should explore there and build a frontier outpost. But that depends on how much reach they have. The nascent species that just found tundra, Arctic desert. I... We'll see, I'm researching, researching that species now, and we'll see. need to find out what my neighbor is. Okay. Other than that, I'll just have to go unrestricted warfare. But unfortunately, I cannot meddle with... Um, oh yeah, can't I even see the policy? No, I guess not. 
until I actually meet a, a, a tiny species I can't actually switch. Ah, okay. Alright, I was thinking about encouraging free thought, to be honest, but... Could be fun, just to see how bad the ethics divergence becomes. Special project complete. I can get behind this. I like fun. <laughs> what are we doing again? Special Why are we getting you in trouble? <laughs> Special project complete. Oh, come on. Yes. Special project complete. Situation. I have like almost updated. no space. Special project complete. Constructible platforms in my in my region. Situation. I have one updated. in my home system. Situation log updated. A couple of my three at the first system I surveyed. Three at the next. So it's like. I'm used to having home systems that are just like a wash in, in mining stations and stuff. Oh boy, my neighbor is a hegemonic imperialist, fanatic militarist, and collectivist. Uh, but we're going to call him Bob. System survey complete. And they actually encompass. Well, they don't encompass it, but unfortunately, the other system is within. No, it isn't. Hmm. You know what? Go here. Move here. Ignore whatever you were doing. Uh, survey the star. Research complete. Uh, close. And survey that patch. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to build a frontier outpost here and do fun things. I did find some minerals up there, but. No, did you? No. Yeah, the... Oh, my neighboring empire... Almost borders... The, uh, Nascent empire. So I have a quick plan here. Uh-oh. For a gamble. Gonna, uh, even more of an uh-oh. Gonna try to build a frontier outpost. In that system. If their border grows, then... It, Kind of blows up, but yeah. Yeah, of course, their fleet power is superior. Um, yeah, I should probably build a few ships <laughs> with a hostile neighbor. You probably should, yeah. Let's build a couple of those at least. I mean, there's just this weird situation where I actually have to go and build on my home worlds more than I normally do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll survive. That is the plan, yes. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the new pop to grow. Because I need energy badly. You're waiting for the pop to pop. How much would it cost to build a frontier outpost here? Uh, okay, move here. Yeah, they adjusted that cost too. Yeah, no, it's actually a more reasonable cost. I don't know, they doubled the mineral cost. But yeah, I kind of understand that why they did the change. There goes my influence. That's another mad gamble. Crazy gamble. Yeah, it is a crazy gamble. It's gonna make that neighbor Research complete. reasonably pissed. But I want to do this because then I can sec probably secure that little junior species. I hope. Hmm. Five percent research bonus seems okay. I'm losing energy. All kinds That's of crazy. Not like crazy, but I am losing energy. One energy so far. Well, your losses can be held off for now. I can buy you time. Yeah, okay. Maybe because it is time. Okay then, short break time. We'll be right back. Thanks, Thanks for watching, folks.